Welcome back. I don't get the white, the, the hard seltzer craze. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome if you're new here. Welcome to our channel. I'm Melissa. This is Jessica. If you haven't heard, now you know who's who. Let's just get into it. Bienvenidos a nuestra canela. <laughs> You should do it. Bienvenidos a nuestra canela de salud. In this video, we are going to talk about why if you have been dieting and you're not seeing any progress, it might be your White Claw to blame. I feel like people that drink White Claws or Trulies or any of those other hard seltzers, they're like diehard fans when it comes to it. You're diehard fans, number one. Number two, you're walking around with it thinking that like you're being so good by drinking it because Not. it's like healthy or it's like the best <sighs> option for alcohol and you are wildly mistaken. Can I can I just say one thing? Can I finish my thought? Sure. The good news is it's not necessarily your fault. So like while you're you are walking around like very very um, looking like an idiot looking looking <laughs> looking the way you look not like that, just like with, like with your white cloth thinking that it's good. Like the nutrition label is actually wrong and we're going to tell you why it's wrong in this video and how you can change that. And so when I say you look like an idiot, like you don't actually look like an idiot, but maybe you sound a little bit dumb when you're like, oh my God, like I can't drink this Bud Light, but I can drink this white cloth because this only has like four carbs in it and it's so much healthier. So you gravitate towards that and it's like, do you want the white claw or do you want the Bud Light? And like Bud Light's a terrible example because Bud Light's terrible. Yeah. You gravitate towards those things thinking, oh, this has way less carbs when in reality, um, it still has the same number of calories. And we're gonna explain to you why, if you want the light beer, have the light beer, because it pretty much has the same number of calories as your white claw. Did you not just see me copy your I did, answer? I watched it. <laughs> why is the white claw and like truly and all those hard seltzer, like why are the labels wrong on them? I do wanna preface, <laughs> I do want to preface though that this video is for people who count macros. So if you're counting macros where you're counting your protein, your carbs, and your fats, the nutrition label is wrong on the actual can and you're not calculating it properly in MyFitnessPal and so your your macros are very off for the day if you're having multiple heart seltzers. Yeah, and I, I think that's a really good point for people that count macros, but I also think it's people that are like on a keto diet Yeah, and they're like, you know, this has less carbs in it so I'm going to choose that or or just in general right. anyone who's like oh well, i can drink these all day long because there's there's no carbs in them like right. it's great so should we pop the nerd hat on science hat okay so let's kind of take a step back right if you look at the label of a white claw or truly it says on the nutrition label that there are 100 calories but only four grams of carbs when you're being mindful like of your carbs or your nutrition or things like that, you're looking at this being like, oh, it only has four carbs. Like Melissa said, I can drink this all day. It's totally fine. If you know anything about counting macros, then you know that every single carb has two. It two? two grams of carbs. Okay, so let's start it all over again. Why? You want me to, oh, just keep going? Yeah. Okay, two grams of carbs. It says right. two grams of carbs. I was mistaken. Your nutrition label says there's 100 calories. Is it 100 calories? 100 calories. 100 calories, only two grams of carbs. If you know anything about macros, you know that every gram of carb, every single gram of carb has four calories associated to it. So if we have two grams of carbs, two times four calories is eight calories, which means that if there are only two grams of carbs listed on your nutrition label, then the entire white claw should only have eight calories in it. It says that there's 100 calories, so where did the rest of the 92 calories go? The thing that you need to understand, while there are three main macros, protein, carbs, and fats, there's a fourth macro, which is alcohol. And nutrition labels don't account for any of that alcohol. So it's only accounting for things like proteins, fats, and carbs, which is why you're seeing the low carbs and you're saying, great, there's only two carbs, when in reality, there's a lot of alcohol calories that are also adding up, which means that at the end of the day, even though there are only two grams of residual sugar, which give you that carbs, you're still consuming 100 calories. And at the end of the day, calories are what's going to decide if you, you know, gain weight or right. lose weight. So what we did is we created an alcohol cheat sheet, like a, a free guide on how to accurately track your alcohol macros in my fitness pal. We linked that in the description below. So go ahead and click on that, download a copy for yourself and check it out. Okay, so how do we actually, you know, 
accurately log and track alcohol calories. So if you're just counting calories, then you're going to just count as 100 calories per can, fine. If you are counting macros and you need it to fit into your day, you can either count alcohol as carbs or fats because we need to account for the alcohol macro somewhere. So if that's either broken up into carbs or fats, okay? So if we are going to count the alcohol as carbs, then since there's one gram of carbs for every, one gram of carbs equals four calories, you're going to take the 100 calorie can and you're gonna divide by four, which means that there's actually 25 grams of carbs that you need to account for for one can versus the can is telling you that there's only two, that there's only two grams of carbs. 25 grams. That's a grams huge difference, versus especially. Two. Like that's mind blowing. I know, especially if you're counting macros and like you're looking at the can and being like, oh cool, I'm only gonna log two grams of carbs in my macro. Ma macros. <laughs> I'm getting really worried. <laughs> I'm only gonna log two grams of carbs in my macros when really like 25 grams of yeah. carbs. That's that's outrageous. That's a lot. It's a lie. Like you should you should be mad. Everyone should write a letter to the hard seltzer companies and be like, this is not right. Strongly write like, a letter. We are counting macros and we're mad. Now if that's you wanna crazy. count it as fats, it's the same thing you're going to do as carbs. You're just going to take the 100 calories, divide by nine because one gram of fat equals nine calories. So 100 calories divided by nine is, oh, can we pop that up on the screen somewhere? Um, <laughs> Let me just do it. I think it's like 10.5. Yeah. Hold on. Let's just do the math really quickly. Anyone else here good at math? What is it? 100 divided by nine. Yeah. 100 divided by nine, 11.1. So count so 11. 11. So that's 11 grams of fat, which is pretty significant. Like, especially for like, like women's like macros, it's, it's not as like, you don't get as much fat in your day usually. If you want to know how to actually like log that and like create your own food in my fitness pal and like create like that alcohol entry, whether it's carbs or fats, um, again, that's in our free guide linked below in the description. So make sure you download that, check it out. Yeah, and we hope this is helpful for you guys to understand like going into summer if you think that you can just, you know, drink White Claw or Truly or whatever other hard seltzer is out there all day long. Like, please make sure that you are checking out the guide and like you're listening to this and, and tracking it properly so that you're not fully blowing your diet. And I just have to ask, I feel like there's um, like, a, like a rivalry. Are you team White Claw or team Truly? That's a thing. I think so. I feel like people either- Are you are, making that up? Like the claw is the law or they go for truly. That I, sounds like I've a mom heard, statement. I've heard the show, claw is the law. I've heard, Did you just make that up? <laughs> no, I've heard, I've seen it on Instagrams like two years ago. All the young kids were like the claw is the law. Is that a thing still? Well, I mean, there's just so much that these kids are saying these days that's ridiculous, but whatever. Um, anyway, so I, I'm interested to know, are you team White Claw or yeah, Truly? Yeah, comment or below there... if you're team White Claw or Truly or whichever one you are. I swear to God, every single like beverage company and their mother is creating a hard seltzer yeah. because they're just jumping on the trend. Yeah. And, and I just wanna say, like, I just need to get it out there. There's 100 calories in like a vodka soda. There's 100 calories in a tequila soda. There's 100 calories in a Coors Light, a Corona Light. Like, so if you don't actually enjoy drinking the White Claws, you can like swap out that 100 calories and track your alcohol however you want. Don't feel like you have to like be tied to that hard seltzer if you're trying to lose weight. If this was helpful for you, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. We're interested to hear what your go-to beverage is. Ours is tequila and seltzer with lime. A little bit of lime. A little bit of lime. <laughs> Beer roll. Are we done? With that, now I gotta do Academy video. Can you turn that off? I, I'm getting up to turn it off. <laughs>